permission, can I just take a moment to speak? And I promise not to be controversial or rile up the crowd. I just wanted to make a, a couple points. I didn't get my chance to report tonight, and the line was too long. What I have to say is just a little bit germane to this issue, and it'll be too late. Oh, go ahead. Thank you. And, and on behalf of the board, really, um, it's important to let them speak, and we're here to try to help persuade them in our favor. So shouting uncivil things probably doesn't hurt, doesn't help. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I try. Um, I know you guys trust me out there, so please, I beg of you, just respect what I'm saying. We need to give them the respect that, that they showed us. And uh, here, here's a, a compromise I'd, I'd like to encourage the board to consider. I, I gave you a handout. I know I can't offer a friendly amendment, but I'd like you to consider something that I, I provided for you. I, I have the resolution in front of you in, in bold and red at the bottom of the resolution is a small amendment that I, I'd like you to consider before you vote. And the way a resolution is worded, there's a whole bunch of whereas is there's all the discontinued programs, and then there's be it resolved, all these programs are cut. I would like to add this language, or at least encourage you to consider the language in red. Be it further resolved that the chancellor direct each college president to work collegially within the established shared governance system pursuant to Education Code and Title V to review listen, to review discontinued programs and faculty to determine if or when discontinued programs and faculty may be reinstated based on college and community needs. I think this is a hard pill to swallow for so many of us because these cuts are permanent and to make these cuts permanent in such a uh, financial crunch and a crisis seems unconscionable. So I think it costs nothing to add this language but it gives hope to the hopeless. And a simple amendment like this says that we value the programs that have been built. We value the tireless work that faculty and, and our students and staff have done. And it says we value you. It says once we are able to take a deep breath, we plan to review all the cuts that were so quickly made in this financial crunch and determine if they were right. So I'm just encouraging the board to consider this amendment as a friendly amendment. And it will create a review process so that these cuts may feel permanent now, but we're getting word from the board that we will, in fact, review them and perhaps reinstate some of these programs that have been here for so many years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, has, it has been moved by Trustee Riss and seconded by Trustee Riley that uh, those in favor of the recommendation please signify by saying aye. 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 Those, in, those not in favor, please signify by saying no. The recommendation is carried. I think, <laughs> I think they're confused. Not my recommendation, guys. My, rec my recommendation wasn't considered. That was a vote to um, pass the resolution that you all were here to defend and support. So we lost. <laughs>